Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo here. Welcome back everyone. Today we are creating a very simple two-tiered tray using Dollar Tree products. I'm sure I don't have to tell you all how popular these tiered trays have become in home decor and I wanted to see if I could make one using almost everything from the Dollar Tree. Now this will be our end result, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you what you'll need for this project. So in addition to our Dollar Tree products, you'll need a few things like some paint and a hot glue gun. These are the candle holders I picked up a while back from the Dollar Tree, and now they look like this. I have kids and things happen, but instead of ditching them, I decided to turn my lemons into lemonade and use them for this DIY. So I'm using two broken candle holders. <laughs> You'll also need two sets of the burner covers. You get two in a pack and this is what they look like before you paint them. I have an old set from another DIY we'll use. And this basket was going to be on top, but I did decide to not use it. Here are the other burner covers from an old DIY, and we're going to put those to use as well. Now let me show you the paint we'll use for this project. You can use anything, white, black, whatever you want. I had these in my stash and decided to use this hammered Rust-Oleum in silver. And they have this in a few different colors. I've used it before and I really like it. And the base coat I put on first was this from my stash. It is a matte nickel by Rust-Oleum and it just gives a nice smooth finish. So here they are with first the matte nickel and then the hammered silver on top. And I went ahead and glued together the two smaller burner covers and the two larger. So now let's start on our candle holder. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to even out the tops of our candle holders since they're broken. And I just used my little hand sander and it went really well. These are made of plaster and they evened right up. I did hot glue them together and then I worked on painting them this dark brown color. I really wanted it to look like it was made of wood and stained and I used a few paints from my stash combining a really dark brown and just a little bit of black and I really like how the color turned out. Now that everything is painted and dried, we're going to go ahead and get out our hot glue gun to attach everything. I did go ahead and hot glue together the two smaller burner covers for the top of our two-tier tray and the two larger to make the bottom. And this is when I did something I didn't expect and pulled from my craft stash. These are a little set of candle holders from the wood section in Michaels and I decided to use them as pedestal feet for our two-tier tray. I really like how they just bumped it up and gave it a little bit of height and this is our finished product. I really love how it turned out. Using two burner covers for the top and the bottom made this really sturdy and the last minute addition of the pedestal feet I think just tops it off perfectly. That's the only thing not from the Dollar Tree and I really like how this turned out. Let me show you how I put it all together for my Easter decor. I've had this nest on hand for a few years. It's just from Michaels. Down here I have my little Walmart bunny and a little nest from the Dollar Tree that they sell at Christmas as an ornament. I also used my little eucalyptus wreath that I picked up at the 99 cent store on the bottom, just slipped it over the top and added the carrots, which I can go ahead and insert a link for. That's an Easter DIY I did last year. And I really like how it turned out. 
I'm really enjoying the addition of the dark wood tone to my house this year and I just used a little bit of the Excelsior grass, an Easter egg, and my other Walmart bunny on top. I really enjoy this and I hope you guys do as well. Thank you so much for joining me for this little Dollar Tree two-tier tray DIY and I'll see you guys very soon this week with some more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.